So right now we are standing next to Digam Shantra. Dig in Sanskrit means direction. And this instrument is used for measuring the azimuth angle of heavenly body. In this case, it's primarily the sun. And as we can see where my finger points to, that zero indication that represents the north of this instrument. And that is precisely the north-south meridian. We draw a straight line from there. Why is it at the north? It's precisely because when the sun is at the south, and, and since this instrument is a reflection of the events happening in the sky, you see that the zeroth marking is on the northern side of the instrument. So how does this instrument work? So, like we had discussed earlier in the case of Ram Yantra, azimuth is used for measuring the degree of rotation the, the earth has completed since the solar moon. And as the sun approaches the meridian, we can notice that although it, this instrument that we are pointing at right here is not operational for some reason, but if we use our imagination a little bit, the shadow casts on the inner cylindrical walls, which we will look at when we go inside, would shift, 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 and finally correspond to the zeroth marking that we see here, marking the completion of a 360 degree rotation of the Earth. So let's go inside this yantra and have a closer look at the readings and calibration of this instrument. So right now we are standing inside the Digam Shantra and as you can see that there is no nomen or any ring to cast any shadow on these cylindrical walls to take any azimuthal measurements. So here we have to play with our imagination a little bit and if we imagine a ring-like structure suspended in the, above this inner cylindrical wall just like in the Jay Prakash Yantra, we would notice that the shadow of that ring would fall on this inner periphery or this inner cylindrical structure. And you see that pin over there, that pin is used for connecting a rope. A rope is basically mounted on that pin and it is moved along this wall, the next of which I'm standing. The rope is basically moved along this wall and it is made to align with the center of the ring or the gnomon which casts the shadow on these inner walls. And then the reading corresponding to the overlapping between the rope and the center of the gnomon on the marble slab that we see here is used to indicate the azimuth angle of the sun. 